and I want to show you how you can use Devo to test the resistance of a fuel injector. So if you notice down here, I've got the connector for the fuel injector is unplugged. My fuel injector is right down there, and then I've got my forward probes connected to it. So these forward probes are going to make it really nice and easy to get in and test the fuel injector. Now over here, I've got Devo. I've got the uh, left side already connected to the battery. We see our battery is at 12.4 volts. I've got Devo in load mode, so we want to make sure we keep it in load mode. And now I'm going to switch to voltage available. So I'm just going to quickly press the mode button once, and that's going to change it to voltage available. I've got both of my five foot test leads plugged into the right side to my circuit side. I'm going to take one test lead and I'm going to plug it into one of my forward probes. Okay, now it does not matter which forward probe you connect to, just pick one and plug it in. I'm going to take my other test lead, my black negative test lead here, and I'm going to plug that into the other forward probe. All right, so just like you're testing resistance with a traditional multimeter where you're going to take your test leads and you're going to plug it across the component to test resistance, we're connecting Devo the exact same way. All right, now I'm looking at my circuit positive and circuit negative values, and I'm looking to see how far apart they are. I want to see some difference between there. If the numbers are totally identical, that would tell me that I have absolutely no resistance and the fuel injector is shorted. The further apart those numbers get, the more resistance is in that fuel injector. If the numbers are totally off from each other, let me just unplug this to show you what I'm talking about. If there's 0 and 12.36, that would tell me that the fuel injector is open. So the further apart those numbers are, the higher the resistance. The closer those numbers are together, the less resistance. We can see here 5.69 volts on my positive, 6.66 volts on the negative side tells me that I have resistance to that fuel injector. I know it's not shorted, and I know it's not open. Now keep in mind that even though I tested the resistance of a fuel injector, you can use this exact same method to test the resistance of any component. Now if you want to take it even a step further and you want to find out the exact resistance, you can go to our website, devo.us. At the menu, click on resistance calculator. Now in this video, I did a circuit to circuit test, so I'm going to put in the circuit positive value, which was 5.69 volts. The circuit negative value, which was scary, 6.66, that's a really weird number and we have a calculated resistance of 12.78 ohms. That's a pretty typical resistance value for a fuel injector, and that's also how we know that it's good. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.